Hello and welcome to Ready Player Dumb. We are playing Red Dead Redemption 2, and we lost Hamish. He lost his life to the pig of society. He got gored by a boar. That rhymed. He got gored by a board. Uh, so right now we're gonna go take the Hamish horse here. Name Dior. It's really Celestia. This is Celestia. We know that. Uh, and uh, so we're going to stable the horse and then figure out our next mission from there. While Sarah does that, I'm gonna eat a warhead. Because I forgot to in the last episode. Let's see how sour these things are. Like, I've had these before, but sometimes I feel like they rain. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sour? I do, I do. Warheads are. If people know of, like. No, I'm just surprised that this one's affecting you so much. Mm -hmm. Given the amount of sour candy that you eat. Yeah. If you put it right at the tip of your tongue and just let a little bit of that tip of your tongue uh, rest right on good. the sour powder, that's where, that's where you get to get that, that kick. Mmm. <laughs> Um, I'm sure some people will say, ah, warheads are nothing. You know what's funny is, like, I can almost, like, feel it myself. In my shower? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like, when you describe it and stuff. Oh? In general, I just, like, kind of feel a little tingle in my thumb. Really? <laughs> so, yeah. No, um, if people know of more sour candy, let me know. Like, I love sour candy. Okay. I am, and I love the candy that, like, really yeah, makes you go, like, I enjoy uh, some sour candy alongside popcorn when I'm eating, or when I'm watching a movie in a theater. Yeah. I feel like it's a nice combo to have. So. Yeah. Yeah. I remember they, they used to have like a warhead challenge. Let me see if I can find what that was. Sarah's riding. Yo. <laughs> Let's see here. Warhead challenge. I'm making sure I'm not reading up eight, like, because this one says the viral warhead challenge. I'm like, eh. Um, how old is this? Rules of the warhead challenge. You need to have the candies in your mouth all at once. This is not the one I did. We've got room in the stable if you need it. All right, let's take a look at Pinkie Pie and Applejack. Pinkie Pie just taking up space. Yeah. Hey there, Mister. You okay? You don't you want to sell Pinkie Pie? I wasn't thinking sell. So. I was thinking give one last ride and you know of glory. Mm -hmm. Ride of glory. What do you think? What do you mean no? Why not a ride of glory? Do you want to see if Pinkie Pie can actually fly? No. Okay. Alright, I'm taking your so, rain spawn. So I guess there's a, I, I guess there's a, a warhead challenge where it says you need to have the candies in your mouth all at once. Some candies cannot be inside of your mouth longer than the others. All the candies must remain in your mouth for the duration of the challenge. If the candies fall out of your mouth during the challenge, it is considered a fail. You will have to try again at a later time. You can only spit some of the candies out if you feel as though you're about to start choking or if the candies are burning your mouth. And then this one says, um, eating more heads. So there's there's the, I guess the other one is eating more heads within a time limit. If you have to eat, try to eat 150 warhead candies within the space of 10 minutes. Fucking nuts. Each candy must be fully consumed for it to be counted for the challenge. 
That just doesn't sound fun. I guess they have extreme more heads. Yeah. Yeah. There's like photos and pictures of people tongue bleeding. Warhead Candy Challenge Warning. Trying out the Warhead Challenge is quite risky. The company that produces these candies has a warning on all their products. It reads, eating multiple pieces within a short period of time may cause a temporary irritation to sensitive tongues and mouths. Different people have had different experiences with the Warhead Challenge. This is from challengetodo.com, by the way. Um, as, as you saw in one of the videos above, some people have experienced bleeding of the tongue. This is a higher chance of happening if you try the 150 Warhead Challenge. Run it over! Others still have reported a loss of sensation in their tongue and ability to taste things for a while. The candy company that makes the warhead says that the taste should come back in a short while. However, this timeline is for people who have only eaten a handful of candy at a time. I love that they have a warning. So that's not what I was thinking of. I, I think when you would buy, of course I find a viral warhead. But yeah, there was a thing that I think on the packaging of Warheads back in the day, it was like, if you could keep this candy in your mouth for this long, good for you. Then you, then you win. <laughs> you're, you're the ultimate. Whoa, what? Hey, that's a nice looking horse you have there. Better name faster than mine though. Ariel's my pride and joy. How about we head to the veteran's homestead? You? Sure, let's race. All right, Sarah, go. I finally get to do my first race. Well, you've done one. Not, not like a, like this though, right? Is it, is it green flag? Keep flagging back there. Easy. Where'd Where you come from? Those? Bye. Where'd he go? He just stopped. <laughs> I think he got stuck on something. Right. Mm. Is there a spot for me? Why can't you just look at the map every once in a while? Because every time I glint. Look at that horse of yours! A beauty! Circle left. Around this thing. You doing good? I almost got my first deer. Still racing? I don't think so. Yeah, you're gonna be okay. What? Why aren't we still racing? Because <laughs> you crashed his horse. Me? Yeah. He crashed me just as much as I crashed him. <laughs> <laughs> that was a gnarly uh, wreck. Here, I need to Go get him. Go kill him. No. Wow, we almost lost Twilight because of that. It's okay. That was gnarly.
I'm still looking up the warheads. Good boy. Well, I didn't win my race, but I feel like that I feel like that guy forfeited. I was still ready to race. Yeah. I like how both of the horses were like down and out. Yeah. They're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and that guy went flying. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't even figure out which horse was mine for a second. Did you do a lot of horse races when you played this game? I probably did four or five throughout the game. Yeah. <laughs> That's your boy. Rabbit. We're up in the map. <laughs> okay. What was that? I hit an animal. A small animal. <laughs> Sounded big. I thought it was a gunshot. There, boy. That's it. Shortcut. No. Turn to the left. Yep. Why don't you ever believe me because of my shortcuts? You don't want to send Pinkie Pie. You're flying. You all right? There you go. Got how long is it? Is to rainfall? Uh, rainfall, yeah. Rainfall. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing good. This is a driving force behind the Warhead Candy's early popularity were informal competitions among yes, school children yeah. to determine who could withstand eating the largest number of warheads in the class. <sighs> Better than Tide Pods. Yeah. Aw, why can't we use weapons? Rude. I come in peace. Watch this. Watch this peaceful. Evening. This is no place for you. See? He's <laughs> Hello? Come in. <coughs> you don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. Well, I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. 
two women were assaulted by these men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right. But for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily led. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. Yeah! Big Where is this news, Captain Munro? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I supposed as much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Even just a couple hours of your time. Nothing like it. Sure. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. Don't give me herbs again. Herbert. 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 <clears throat> I don't know if you can talk to him all. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! Go on, get out of here! Good. There was no need to harm them. Oh, did I have the option to probably? Yeah! If you want, Mr. Morgan. Let's go! Why are you riding off like that? <laughs> so, you were saying? We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. you know about Dutch? A little. Mostly what Charles told me. 
for years. He was the best man I knew. But he's been unraveling for some time now, and I ain't sure there's any going back at this point. It took a long time for me to learn that you could never change a person. We only become more who we really are. Perhaps you see that with him, just as I see it with my son. The Dutch has got this. Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. I'll have to wait. Some <laughs> this, of the plants I need will be growing This down whole here. like m mission thing has always like been weird to me because they do all these like big talking rain. points, and then Rain's fall is just like, hold up, I gotta get these herbs. <laughs> And then you get back in your eyes and it's like, all right, keep on going. And then you spill more of your heart out. And then he's like, hold on, more herbs over here. <laughs> it was not very well laid out, I don't think. This is what I was looking for. English mace. Mace. I should steal his horse. No. Okay, let's continue on. Am I supposed to go now, and get some too? I was saying it. Dutch has got this crazy plan that if we create enough noise and chaos, we'll be able to escape and go somewhere far away where no one will find us. I worry a lot of folks are gonna get caught in the crossfire, including eagle flies. So what can we do? I ain't quite sure. Just wanted you to know the situation. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. Arthur's son? You know, I had a son once, years ago. Yeah. Don't talk about him much. No, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, the waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she, she knew oh, wait, who I, I didn't was, know this, right? what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I, I said I'd do right the by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed him. And shot him dead. And offered ten dollars. Hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this <laughs> That's fine. I was just in the middle of, you know, telling you why. Yeah, my... my, my. I used to have a kid, but she, but he died. My my oh, wife okay, and son well, were killed. Know, wait, wait, Hold me. that thought. <laughs> I don't think she was quite a wife, but. Oh, true, true. So that wasn't Mary. No, that was someone else. Someone so else I don't think when we he was did even know. younger. Yeah. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Okay. Don't fucking move. Mix these together. It tastes awful. But it'll help to keep your strength up. Okay. Alright, let's go. It's not much further now. You were Dude. saying before. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. Yeah. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's going to take more than that. I saw a doctor, and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got. Some of them 
they still got a chance to have a life. I'm just thinking, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. It's it's a small shame that because it seems like we've hit all of our talking points. Yeah. That like they don't give you the option to just keep going through different yeah. conversations. Yeah. Because you know it's like this topic or that topic. All right, next. Yeah. Unless both kind of touch on the same, maybe. Maybe um, they're both related. No. The other one was about Captain Monroe. The guy who was just with us? Yeah. The first one probably was going to be similar because it was about eagle flies and Dutch, which yeah. kind of started Related. the same. I forget what, what, what was paired with Arthur's son. It's just up ahead. No! It can't be. No! They've destroyed everything! No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Wasn't someone just singing a second ago? Help me look I think around. Part of me too. Please! The Chinupa is gone. <laughs> I thought there was some guy just up what here like, hey, uh, hey. Ceremonial pipe. There must be some to what Did he say he was looking for a Chalupa earlier? Uh, Chinupa. Oh. Um, Talk about deer. Chalupa. No. Um, hey, look at that. A bottle. Animals. Uh-huh. <laughs> Animal drink. You can also use your. I cannot believe this. Oh, it's ruined. Okay, we get into it. I like how it looks like a large thing of piss. Please, come look at this. I'm, uh, I'm busy. It's not letting me get out That's of there. That empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, Bastards. they couldn't have gotten too far. Bastards are having well, a party up here. Still no sign of the Chinupa. No Chinupa. No talk about. Is that dim? Yep. They're, they're right there. Mm. Oh, they're right down there. Am I still. Am I. Hmm. Look there! Still, I got smoke! Oh, yeah! <laughs> now that you say it. <laughs> oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. 
a war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, I no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go, they know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. No, I don't need your money. Please see if they have our sacred items. But try not to... Oh no. Oh boy, he almost died. <laughs> Uh oh, I don't have a big weapon. You could, you so I'm good? Sneak in don't eat do anything then? Yeah. Don't, don't fall off this cliff. I don't fall. It's pretty freaking non fallable. It's inside. Alright, you're gonna have to sneak in. I heard old Favors was trying to get him transferred. Don't like him much. Always seemed like a decent hotel to me. Exactly. That's the problem. Damn. Monroe went to West Point. Favors never made it. Yeah. I'm sure. Engines. It just seems so silly, though. I know. <laughs> I can't even get in that one. Who cares? Oh. Huh? My uncle married an Indian anyway. I think it's also one. Easy, nice enough. An Indian? Oh, yeah, no, he didn't. Canadian border someplace. Camden. They got Give me the option to pick something up. Tons of them. French book too. Oh. Oh. What can I do? Oh. It's right near Camden then. Apparently you have plenty. No. Should I take some? I right. guess. Mm. Why? Well, I guess if you want. Because I was going to say, there's some right there. Okay. Do it. No. That's not it. That's, that's me trying. Yeah. Do it? Yeah. yeah? Just do it. Where are you from? Me? Go Polish. under open health security. Health care in your item. Doesn't matter if it's opened or unopened. Yep. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. This is four of seven. Oh, okay, never mind. It's open. You just leave it. Hmm. And maybe you can grab it later. Uh, sacred items. Bolts alarm! Nothing here. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Arthur's just very casually. Five dollars. Yeah. No, don't worry. I have the high ground. I love that though. It's like. The foot, and Arthur's like, I'll take this, and I'll take this. I'll be here, take this. <laughs> Arthur's like, No 
more there. no more stemming. But look who's here. You're gonna take five steps with Twilight. You're gonna be wearing one. It's alright. Alright, you're good. Hey, I, uh, I got your things, I think. Yes, thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? No one was killed. Well done. No one was even well hurt. Done. Well, except me. I wish my son knew such restraint. My people owe you a great debt, and I'm giving you very little. But please, take this. We believe it to be sacred. Thank you. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. So what was this area? It was like a sacred grounds, um, like a ritual grounds or something like that. Something very important to the tribe and it got burnt down. He's a man who not so long ago I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. And I would love to help him. Or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Well, owl feather trinket. All right. Well, folks, that's a wrap on that. When we come back, that map's starting to get a little full. We got a couple missions, yeah. and we'll figure out what we're gonna do coming up next. So we'll see you in the next episode of Next. Next. Ha, ha, ha.